<laughs> you knew I'd be back eventually. How's it going, everyone? This is Baptist Dave 1611 uh, coming at you here. Uh, back on YouTube now after a little uh, hiatus of uh, several months. Uh, for those of you who, who don't know what happened, um, a while back I, I had made uh, some videos on my channel uh, during uh, Sodomite Pride Month, basically, uh, you know, uh, preaching against the Sodomites and their filth and their perversion and their degeneracy and the fact that they're a bunch of reprobate pedophiles and defending the men of God, uh, notably Pastor Grayson Fritz in of uh, All Scripture Baptist Church in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, men like him uh, who preach, you know, hard against the Sodomites and their filth and just overall uh, men like that who take a stand for the Word of God here today uh, in America. And um, uh, I had made that one video in particular, it might have been two actually, uh, in my Air Force uniform. I was with the Air Force at the time and uh, <laughs> long story short, um, somebody had, had gotten that video some sodomite or sodomite sympathizer or, you know, I probably should have known better just because these people pretty much work for Satan full time. Um, but some, you know, pervert or pervert sympathizer had uh, gotten the video and essentially doxed me. Uh, I guess they saw my name tape or, or something. And uh, basically, uh, long story short, uh, released it to the media. And so the media had taken that and basically run with it. And um, so that got back to my, you know, command. And, you know, you can figure out the rest from there. Basically what they did initially was uh, they told me, okay, just don't make any more videos. So I followed their orders. I didn't. I was off YouTube. Uh, but then eventually they said, you know what, we're uh, basically the synagogue of Satan and the Jews and the elites and uh, the pervert promoters who, who want to destroy our society had uh, essentially influenced, you know, I believe the politicians in Washington uh, to talk to, you know, the generals. And it basically went on down the chain and essentially my uh, commander kicked me out. And I don't believe it was his decision or anything, but you know, bureaucracy, he's got people over him, they're pushing for it, he's got to do it, whatever. I'll spare you the details. Um, and while I'm sure it was the intention of whoever, you know, doxed me to the media, I'm sure it was your intention to really ruin my life, but you know, you, you did pretty much the opposite <laughs> because, uh, Getting kicked out of the military really was a blessing in disguise. I mean, I'm working another job right now where I'm making more than I was in the military. And I don't have to leave my family to go, you know, guard poppy fields in a desert for, for eight months to support the military industrial complex. Uh, so I'm really happy about that. You know, I mean, this, this whole thing just couldn't have worked out better. You know, the Bible says... Uh, in uh, Romans chapter 8, that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. And, you know, through this whole uh, ordeal the past several months, uh, you know, it's just proven that verse to be 100% true. <laughs> I mean, truly, God is, is uh, we serve a wonderful God, and, uh, you know, he's done abundantly above all that we ask or think and you know the word of God is just proven right like I said time and time again you know uh, and like Paul said in in uh, Romans 12 that we glory in tribulation knowing that tribulation work at patience and patience experience and experience hope so you know I mean this was really just small potatoes you know, I, I, I hate to, you know, bust the bubble, so to speak, of whoever it was who doxed me to the media, but uh, really, you only ended up helping me, so, and you're going to hell anyway, so, because you're probably a reprobate, 
So have fun with that. <laughs> but um, anyway, all that to say this. Baptist Dave 1611 is not going anywhere. He's back and he's better than ever. And I'm coming at you with uh, some good quality content coming down the pipe here. And, uh, you know, all the same uh, King James Bible preaching uh, that you know and love. There's going to be a ton of that. So stay tuned. All the brethren out there, stay blessed. Hope you have a great day. God bless.